Hi, welcome to this video show. I'm Pierre Liotto, application engineer supporting high-speed converters at IDT. I'd like to introduce you to the common use of our GESD 204B dual DAC demo kit with Altera ARIA 5 GT dev kit. Now, let's look at the hardware. The first box contains the DAC demo board. In the center, we can see the DAC below the two SMA connector for the analog output. The power supply. The vertical SMA on the right is for the DAC clock. Above is an IDT clock divider. On the back side, the large black FMC connector is used as main interface with the FPGA carrier board. The mini USB circuit is used by the DAC control software. Now, let's open the ARIA 5 GTDF kit. It's a large board with two FPGAs and an FMC connector to match with the IDT DAC demo board. This connector is driven by the second FPGA only. Now, let's assemble the kits. First, I'm connecting the two boards together using the FMC connector. Then, I'm connecting the reference clock coming from the frequency generator. Next, the two analog outputs to either an oscilloscope or to a spectrum analyzer. One mini USB cord to the DAC demo kit. This is needed by the control software. Another mini USB cord to program and control the FPGA kit. Then the power supplies. And finally, switch the FPGA power on. The last step is to set the right frequency and output level of the frequency synthesizer. Once the hardware has been put together, we can now proceed to software configuration. The Quartus design project and the NIOS control software has been previously compiled or synthesized. We can now upload the result file into the system. From Eclipse Framework, I'm launching Quartus Programmer. The generated soft file has to be downloaded to the second FPGA in the chain. Now we have to download the software code to the NIOS processor. Again, from Eclipse, we open the software configuration tool. We select the right project to upload. And also the right FPGA, the second one. From the dialog screen at the bottom, I can configure the transmit IP code to my needs. In this demo, I have chosen the four lane configuration. The DAC demo board kit comes with its own software. The first step is to select the right board configuration.
the next one is to configure the DAC. To help me there, I'm going to use a pre-existing file that comes along with the software. I can give now a check at the DAC status. This tab presents some interesting files to look at. There should be no red flag. I can also have a look at the configuration data received by the DAC. In my case, the match the transmitter wants. Another check can be performed on the FPGA board. Let zero reflect the synchronization state of the system. It should turn into green. At DAC output, I'm now observing a ramp. This is the default wave transmitted from the TX. I'm now going to replace the ramp with a sine wave. In quarters, I need to open the in-system memory editor. I'm now seeing two memory instances. I'm going to update their contents with a memory initialization file. That change must also be enabled inside the NIOS processor. The result can be observed directly on the oscilloscope. It can also be observed on the spectrum analyzer screen. For more information about GSD Converter, check IDT web page. For more information about ARIA 5 DevKit, check Altera website. Thank you for watching that video.